Hey guys, it's Tommy here, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another episode from Stage Door Studios. Um, as you will see from the title of this episode, um, I've added a, I've added another attraction into the park. Um, so just going back from the main entrance now, um, nothing new has changed around here. Obviously, in the last episode, we put in the Five Guys restaurant, which is getting increasingly busy now, um, especially now that I've got this attraction over this side of the park. Um, lots of people coming in and visiting it. However, I'm having an issue with people walking through the wall here. I put, um, I <laughs> did put benches under these seats to try and get people to sit down, but people either sit on them the wrong way like that, or they just walk through the wall. So uh, yeah, need to uh, need to fix that. Other than that, Five Guys is very popular for both toilet milkshake machine and the burger counter. Um, but yes, the, the new attraction down here is the Fast and Furious ride. Now, the Fast and Furious ride is a go-karts themed ride um, that basically the idea I went for was that you're, you know, you're, you're part of the film and you're going to be in the movie. Um, so there's camera crews all around the track, um, etc., filming lots of stunts. Um, now, in terms of the building, I kind of went for a similar design to the Fast and Furious ride in Universal Studios. Um, I know I know the Universal Studios ride is not the best. Um, definitely one of the most disappointing rides I've ever been on. Um, however, I'm hoping my ride does uh, does improve that a little bit. Um, just out the front here, I did put I did put a uh, you know a, a, a stunt car out there, and I put one of these Vista points in um, just there. Excuse my shoddy camera work. Um, so that people come by a lot and they get pictures of the car. Um, so I think having that there and getting people into interacting with the car works really well. Um, but yeah, other than that, we shall go on to the ride. So Fast and Furious. Um, and then as you step into this room, this is basically like a museum of cars from previous films. So we've got one from Fast and Furious from 2009, one from Furious 7. I'll be honest, I've not watched every Fast and Furious film. Um, so... Uh, here we are, you're the actor. One from F9, which came out, well, yeah, which is about to come out any day now, I believe. Um, but let, let's pretend this is slightly in the future. Um, going here, we've got a camera crew, obviously, just uh, just picking up the guests as they come in, just so they get that that you know that effect of being a movie star. Don't forget to smile. Uh, one from Hobbs and Shaw in 2019, a helicopter with no propellers on. Too fast, and, too furious from 2003. Keep coming around here. We have The Fast and the Furious in 2001, the very first film in the franchise. I don't, I don't know, I mean, that's 20 years old. Now. I don't know how many films they've done. Um, yeah, and then this is the this is the station I've gone for. Again, I wanted like a, a movie set, a movie set in the in the sense of it's a bit like a facade um, because there's not much in there, but it you know it's enough to make it like a movie set basically. So you've got the studio lighting, we've got the cameras. We've got the sound booms here. Um, we've even got the man with the clapper just on the side here. So, uh, yeah, very, very popular ride. Um, and as you'll see here, it's got an excitement of 7.23. Now, that is because it is on two laps. Um, now, ideally, you see there the gate, the door opens. Ideally, I will drop that down to one just to get the guest flow coming in, but. If you drop it down to one, the excitement goes down to four. So it is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Um, and just before we have a ride on it, you will notice here, the screen is black. Um, however, when the trigger sequence starts, as you can see there, um, it does turn to a sort of industrial uh, door. So just to get everything right, we will close it and then we will test it when everyone is ready. Um, and I'm going to go on car two. And the reason I'm going to go on car two is I'm hoping that car number one leads the way so that all the stunts and all the triggers that are on this track are set off by him or her in the uh, in the crash test dummy seat. So, uh, yeah, we'll line up and uh, we'll experience Fast and Furious.
So there we go, that was the Fast and Furious ride. Um, I just want to show you now the uh, the third person camera um, off the ride, just so you can see all the effects, because the only thing about the go-karts is, depending on the speed that your car's going at, um, depends on whether you see the effects or not on the trigger sequence. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll wait for um, we'll wait for these cars to get back. Let's just uh, close the ride, and we'll start it in test run here. So if we uh, if we zoom out here, um, as I say, because you can't really keep up with that first car, um, and you're not sure which one's going to go quickest, you may miss things. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go down here. So we've got the police car crashing there, taxi coming flying over, and then as you get over this hill here, there's a small explosion to the left, and then a police car explosion here, pedestrian flying back, and we keep coming round the circuit, and then there's a car just here as well as the bus. So this car jumps and the bus crashes. And we go up here, we get some fairly quiet, not much happens up there, other than the helicopter circling around. Go down here, police car flips. This car crashes into the water tank, which then collapses and starts to leak on the people behind. Then to the side, there's a train crash and as you can see all the film crews down here behind all the signs getting all the getting all the action and then the tank just fires off there um, and then as you come around the final corner this guy gets his clapper out boom sorted these women are holding the flags and then we have the confetti and that's a wrap so uh, yeah so that is the fast and furious ride as you can see it takes up a large footprint um, but i'm really happy with it as I say, you know, this I've basically milked the studio's animatronics for as much as I can there. Um, but I think it, I think it works really well as a as a theme. Um, I don't often build go karts, as I say, because it's just because of the high the high queuing that you get because the ride can take so long for just like twelve people. Um, but I did think that it was it worked really well with with this theme and it fitted in this park, you know, perfectly. Um, and as I say, the, the buildings down here. Um, I, you know, I haven't built these. These are these are the standard um, blueprints that you get from the studios pack. However, I, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to spend hours building different buildings down here for them just to be driven past and nobody actually look at them or use them. So uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see the point in uh, in doing that. So I thought I'd use that, make the little street, and uh, yeah, really, really happy with the effects. Really happy with how it all looks. Um, and as you can see from the queue. It's uh, well. There's, these guys are still leaving. Lot so the the queue is obviously full when I close the ride. Um, we will open it back up, and I'm sure you will see a crowd coming back down shortly. So uh, yeah, and then what I haven't shown you yet is if you come out the exit, you come around here. I need to sort that. Someone's trashed me bin. Um, you can get your film footage here. So I'm um, the idea is you can uh, you know obviously have the recording of yourself driving around the track and buy the footage in there. Um, yeah, and then back round to the main path, back to the uh, back to the viewpoint of the car. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. As you can see, everyone's coming back down to the Fast and Furious to, uh, to go and have a look around. So yeah, really, really happy with that. Really happy with the layout and the queue line. Um, if you did enjoy that, please leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Um, and yeah, there's plenty more, plenty more coming up in this park. So uh, yeah, I shall see you next time. Goodbye.